What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be pulling shards, but just before we do that, I just want to touch on the Yuletide Titan event. So Polarium are giving every single player the opportunity to get their hands on Tormund. Um, he's 2,000 snow points and Polarium is saying they're going to give us 2,500 snow points. So it means that you can sort of ease off and you don't have to, you can skip some events tournaments. But my opinion would be go hard early on, make sure that you get him and then start to skip because otherwise, you know, you don't want to get caught short and miss out on an amazing champion. So for me, I want him, you know, I really want him for live arena. He is so strong. You know, he can strip, he does control, he does damage. Uh, personally, I'm going to go with a, a nuke build with a little bit of a CC. But yeah, so good for arena, like an absolute beast. Also can carry you in Doom Tower waves. So strong for that as well. And also great for dungeons as well. So just like such an amazing champion. And I can't believe Polarion are doing this. This is probably one of the most generous things they've ever done. And do you know what? Keep it coming, Polarium. Keep it up. This like two thumbs up from me. I love it. Um, amazing. So yeah, please, please do this more often. And one of the things we need to do is we need to pull shards. Uh, so let's have a look at this summon rush. Scroll down, scroll down. So we want to go all the way down to 4,100 points. And I'm only going to be using Ancients and it's 50 points a pop. So we need to pull 82 Ancients to be able to get uh, all these snow points. Uh, and then I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to pull any more to get like the skill tones and stuff. It's, it's not worth it for me. Um, so what I was talking about this a long time ago. I have stopped pulling shards for about four months. Um, and I was telling everyone, save your shards. Player, we're going to do something big for Christmas. We were right. So we've got 413 Ancients. We only need to pull 82. Um, and what I was going to say as well is that do never pull your sacreds for events like this. Pull the Ancients. Ancients are not as valuable as a sacred. Like with a sacred, you know, there's an 8% chance or a 16% chance for me to get the legendary that I want. So much better than just, you know, so I'd rather just burn the Ancients. And I've just, yeah. So let's go. So we've actually got enough space. Oh, um, big mistake. We've not even chosen the legendary one as well. Slow down, real deal. Slow down. All right. Nothing but trash. Let's come back. Um, so out of all these champions, you know, Valkyrie, I've got three. Oh, my Death Knight, I've got two. I've got two Helicats as well. Archbishop would be pretty good for Doom Tower, um, for Hydra for me. So it's going to have to be Archbishop for me. I know King Cole, uh, Cole is it Cole? King Colab or something? Uh, he's quite new. Um, he's pretty decent. Oh, actually, we don't. I don't need it either of those. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty cool as well. So I would like him. And I can't even remember what this guy is. I know he brings like a increased resistance. Um, oh, so we have to have both. Okay. But yeah, he's just average if you ask me. So let's go, guys. Good luck if you guys are pulling today. Hopefully you get a legendary. Again, when you're doing like a time 25, the chances of getting legendary are very, very low. But you never know. You might get... Oh, my God. Here we go. Got double Lego off the bat. Wow. Oh, my God. That has never happened to me, ever. Um, but yeah, so Ignatius, he's a dupe. Actually still a solid champion. Um, I actually only use him for Spider Hard. He has an in, uh, irresistible burn. But I think outside of that, I think he's pretty weak. Uh, Roxam, oh, trash. Um, they have the potential to be a great champion. It's just their kit is like in the wrong order. But hopefully they get like a rework or a retouch and they'll be god tier. But man, oh, who cares? Like, I'm pleased with that. That's two legendaries. That's pretty decent. Um, let's see. Let's keep it rolling, boys. You never know. We might get lucky. We might get a third. I mean, that's better luck that I've had than like pulling during a two times. But yeah, hope you guys get some double, double pulls as well. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, shout out to Kale. Obviously, the greatest starter of all time. Apothecary, also great. 
Um, I've lost, I've lost where we are. Let's um, let's just hop back into Yule Tired. Nope, not Yule Tired. Back into Summon Rush. Oh God, we're nowhere near. All right, guys. Uh, let me make some space and recalculate how many more shards we need to pull. And we're back, guys. Um, so yeah, let's just pull two two ancients and then we'll pull the rest. Okay, so it's a rare. Some guy with a candle in his head. Next, Coffin Smasher. He's going to be pretty decent for Clan Boss. Uh, I've never personally used him. Oh, okay, guys. Okay, Crimson Helm can solo bomb also a solid champion. Um, Siege Hulk's going to be a pretty good damage dealer as well. Okay. Uh, War Priest is pretty decent. Um, pretty good healer. I used to use her early on to carry me through campaign. And I think that's it, guys. Um... Wow, I mean, let's just make sure that we've that we've hit the target, hit the mark. And oh, I've got to scroll all the way down. Yeah, we've got it. So yeah, guys, like I said, I would really recommend go hard early on. You do not want to miss out on Tormund. Uh, I can't wait to get him. I will definitely be doing a guide on him. He, like I said, like he's an absolute beast. Obviously, not as strong as he used to be because of the stone skin metal. But he is still like he's still such a great champion, and you know he's such a good kit, and you can be really creative with him as well. Absolutely love him. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace.